Hi everyone. So yes, you saw in the title of this video that I'm having another surprise giveaway. And um, in case you didn't see it on my Facebook page, uh, my little um, albatross or seagull, whatever he is, just a minute, I'll find the card, has a name now. Um, here he is. On the 25th of June, I um, counted up all the votes, and this little guy is now hereby named Wilbur. <laughs> um, Wilbur got 31 votes, and Orville got 21 votes, and there was a handful of people who liked the combo name uh, using both Wilbur and Orville. So, um, that, like I said, was on the 25th, and so what I decided to do, since I already had printed out um, all of your comments, just because it helps me to be able to count easier, I decided since I already had this printed out, I would number each one of your comments and go ahead and have a giveaway. And um, I counted all the comments, regardless of whether you offered up a name for, uh, for the bird. <laughs> Or not, uh, as long as you commented, I counted, and as long as you commented uh, by the 25th of June. So here are all the comments. We have 87, and in just a minute, we'll go over to random.org, and um, we'll see whose number comes up. All right, um, this isn't a huge uh, giveaway by any means. I just wanted to do something because I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I have a little small stencil. This is a 4x4 four four, uh, stencil from um, Plaid Folk Art. And um, just a pretty little design. It would come in handy maybe for your morsels or, um, you know, anything you need something like that on. Um, I also have a uh, texture stamp that um, I use one of these and I love it. And it's a honeycomb stamp by Kaiser Craft, and it's great for putting texture in the background. That's not the one, by the way, that I used on this card. This one is a much smaller uh, stamp that I have, <clears throat> excuse me, that I have in a similar, similar shape, but not exactly. This one actually does look more like chicken wire. And this one is a honeycomb or um, hexagon shape, but it's really fun to use as um, background texture on your art journal pages or on canvases or whatever you're working on. So I have those two things and then I have a set of these really uh, inexpensive Crayola brushes and you'll recognize that in this set is the purple brush that I use for my glue. <laughs> now my brush, um, it I think they've changed uh, changed these just a little bit since I bought mine. I was just drying it off over here. Mine had a little bit shorter bristles, uh, where this one's a little bit longer. And I didn't cut this down or anything. I mean, this is the way it came. So unless it's gotten pushed up further up into the ferrule uh, by using it and washing and, and all that stuff, it's a possibility that it could have gotten pushed up in there. It kind of looks like this might be a little fatter than it should be. <laughs> right here. So that may be all it is. It could have started out exactly like that. But um, it's still the same um, um, whatever they used for these bristles, whatever the synth synthetic brush is, uh, that's still what this is. And I like um, several of these brushes. I've used this one and this one um, for a stencil brush also the, because they're very stiff. These um, synthetic bristles on these particular brushes are very stiff, which comes in handy a lot of times. A lot of times, you know, you just don't want a real soft, smushy brush. So I've used both of these uh, as stencil brushes before. And of course, you know I love my glue brush and they last forever. I've been using this same glue brush for almost two years, okay? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, get, it's getting to the point now where it's, um, it's gonna give up soon, but Still, two years for one brush, especially a glue brush, because you you just, you know, they just get messed up so easily. So I think these are really handy little brushes. And I wanted to, uh, to share that too, because I really love them so much. And the last thing I have is, um, and I gave away some of these. I don't know if it was the same one or if these are different, but 
I gave away some of these in my last um, surprise giveaway. Um, they're Tim Holtz uh, rub-ons, okay? And um, each package comes with two sheets. And so what I've done is I've taken one out of each, um, one out of each, and uh, I'll, I'll take this one out and I'll put both of these together in one package to protect it. But uh, just so you know, when you whoever wins, when you're getting it, one of these is called Botanical, the other one is called Words. So both of those sheets will be in one of these. So I don't want you to get confused thinking that that's the way it comes if you buy it, okay? If you buy it from, from the store, from Amazon or whatever, there are two identical sheets in the package, okay? And I just thought it would be fun to split them up and that way you get a better, a more variety and then I'll have these two that I'll use maybe in a future giveaway. So those will be going with, um, along with this too, and I may throw in a couple of other things. I tend to do that from time to time, just throw in some fun stuff. So, um, but this is the, um, this is what uh, I'll be sending to whoever the lucky winner is. And again, let me say, you guys, I, I so appreciate each and every one of you. And um, things get pretty busy and hectic for me at times, and. So I may be late in responding to comments, and there have been a couple of occasions when I haven't been able to comment at all, and I usually at least try to give you a like on your comment when that happens, but, uh, and occasionally it will happen, because if I get behind, then it's very overwhelming to have a ton of comments to respond to, and if I'm trying to make videos and, you know, put, put up more, um, more stuff for you guys. It's it's hard to take the time away to go back and respond to uh, um, you know comments that are several days or a week old. So forgive me for those instances when that happens, and um, and know that I'm seeing all of your comments, and I totally appreciate every one of them, and I appreciate you watching and the support you give me on my channel. It just means the world to me. So um, this is one way for me to occasionally you know, say thank you and give you guys a chance to win something maybe that you don't have already. And if you do have any of the things that I'm sending, feel free to bless somebody else with them. And, um, and, uh, so I guess now we'll go ahead and move over to, uh, the computer so we can, um, or I may just use my iPad, but we'll pull up, uh, random.org and, um, see who the lucky winner is. All right, so here we are. I did grab the iPad. It's a little bit quicker and easier, I think. All right, so we had um, 87, I believe it was. Let me double check. Yes, 87 uh, comments were left on this video before June 25th, okay? So we're gonna put in 87 and um, Get ready to generate a number. Okay, here we go. Ready, guys? Get this up here close so that everybody can see it. All right, here we go. Well, got to hit it. Oh, there it is. 20. All right, number 20, see? All right, so we're going to just set this aside. Number 20 is... Lottie Faith. There we go. Lottie Faith. All right, so I need you to send me your um, address, your mailing address, and um, I'll be uh, I'll get this out to you as soon as possible. All right, um, number twenty, Lottie Faith. Send me your address and I'll get it mailed out to you as soon as I can. Um, I know we've got a holiday coming up here in a couple of days, but um, I'm pretty sure I could get it out by next week anyway. So, yes, congratulations. And um, thanks again, everybody, for all your support and uh, participation on my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. All right, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.